Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Omer, and I'm a doctor. My passion is to share valuable knowledge that can enhance and potentially save lives. My mission is to empower you with information that can make a real difference in the world. Today, we will embark on a journey to unravel the intricacies of bronchiolitis, equipping you with the knowledge and understanding necessary to navigate through this condition. Together, we will explore the symptoms, causes, treatment options, and preventive measures associated with bronchiolitis. So let's get started. Bronchiolitis. Bronchiolitis refers to an infection that specifically targets the bronchioles, which are the small airways in the lungs. This condition is commonly observed in infants and is typically not severe, as most affected babies tend to fully recover without any complications. However, in certain cases, the illness can progress to a more serious stage, requiring hospital care. Understanding the lungs. To comprehend the impact of bronchiolitis, it is crucial to have a basic understanding of the structure and functionality of the lungs. When we inhale, air enters the lungs through a pathway consisting of the trachea, or windpipe, which leads to larger branching airways known as bronchi, and finally reaches the smaller airways called bronchioles. The bronchioles serve as the last set of airways before the air enters millions of tiny air sacs called alveoli, which are essential for oxygen exchange. The thin walls of the alveoli allow oxygen from the inhaled air to pass into the bloodstream, ensuring oxygenation of the body's tissues. What is bronchiolitis? Bronchiolitis is characterized by inflammation of the bronchioles, which are the small airways in the lungs. The primary cause of this condition is often a virus called respiratory syncytial virus RSV, although other viruses can also be responsible. RSV is a common viral infection associated with cold-like symptoms. The virus spreads through tiny water droplets that are coughed or sneezed into the air. Infected bronchioles become swollen and filled with mucus. Who is at risk of bronchiolitis? It is estimated that around 1 in 3 babies in the UK experience bronchiolitis before reaching 12 months of age. This condition is most commonly observed in infants aged between 3 and 6 months. For the majority of affected babies, bronchiolitis is not a severe illness. However, approximately 3 in 100 babies require hospital admission due to bronchiolitis before their first birthday. Babies who are at higher risk of developing a more serious form of bronchiolitis include premature babies, babies with heart conditions, babies who already have an existing lung condition. Symptoms of bronchiolitis Bronchiolitis in the UK tends to occur during the winter months, from November to March. Initially, it presents with cold symptoms such as a runny nose, cough, and mild fever, which usually last for two to three days. As the infection progresses to the bronchioles, additional symptoms may arise, including rapid breathing, difficulty breathing, and wheezing. The respiratory rate may increase significantly, ranging from 60 to 80 breaths per minute. Flaring of the nostrils and worsening cough may also be observed. The intercostal muscles between the ribs may retract during each breath, indicating increased effort required for breathing. Infants with bronchiolitis may experience feeding difficulties if they are struggling to breathe and may also get tired easily. Typically, the symptoms peak in severity two to three days after onset. The intensity of the illness can vary, ranging from mild, resembling a severe cold, to severe cases characterized by significant breathing difficulties. Following the peak, symptoms gradually get better within one to two weeks, although an irritating cough may persist for a longer period. In some instances, a condition known as postbronchiolytic syndrome may develop, wherein children experience wheezing and coughing more easily, especially during future episodes of cough or cold. This syndrome usually resolves over time, but in rare cases, wheezing symptoms may persist intermittently for several years, particularly during episodes of coughs and colds. Treatment for bronchiolitis Bronchiolitis is a self-limiting illness, meaning it typically resolves as the immune system clears the viral infection. There is no specific medication to directly eliminate the virus, and antibiotics, which are ineffective against viruses, are not usually prescribed. The treatment goals focus on the following. 
ensuring the baby does not become dehydrated by monitoring adequate fluid intake, assisting with breathing if having difficulty, being vigilant for possible complications, home treatment. In most cases, symptoms of bronchiolitis do not become severe. A doctor will assess whether the baby is adequately hydrated and breathing reasonably well. Positive indicators include normal feeding and drinking patterns. Elevating the head of the cot slightly during sleep can aid breathing. However, it is important to consult a doctor if the baby's condition worsens, seek urgent medical attention especially if. Feeding and drinking are less than half of normal for baby over a period of 24 hours. Breathing becomes difficult this will become apparent if baby starts breathing faster, ribs start getting sucked in, nostrils start flaring and are having difficulty latching on or feeding. The baby's color deteriorates, appearing pale or blue. Hospital treatment. Approximately 3 in 100 babies with bronchiolitis require hospitalization, often for a short duration until the worst symptoms have passed. The primary reason for hospital admission is concern over inadequate feeding or drinking or breathing difficulties. In the hospital setting, babies may receive nutrition through a tube inserted into the stomach if necessary. Additional oxygen may be administered if breathing becomes challenging. Approximately 2 in 100 hospitalized babies with bronchiolitis may require assisted ventilation to support breathing until the infection resolves. In rare cases, some infants may experience severe illness or develop pneumonia as a complication, necessitating intensive care. For bronchiolitis, various treatments have been explored over time, however, research has shown that none of them significantly alter the course of the illness. Therefore, treatment primarily focuses on supportive measures while the child's immune system combats the viral infection. Prevention of bronchiolitis in general, it is not usually possible to completely prevent bronchiolitis, particularly since the primary cause, respiratory syncytial virus (RSV), is responsible for many coughs and colds in both children and adults. However, there are some measures that can potentially reduce the risk or severity of the illness. Limiting exposure to individuals with coughs and colds, it may be advisable to keep young babies away from people who have respiratory infections. However, this can be challenging as complete avoidance may not always be possible. Vaccination, there is a vaccine available for RSV, but it is typically administered only to babies and children with severe chest or heart conditions or compromised immune systems. Breastfeeding in smoke-free environment, babies who have been breastfed and those living in a smoke-free home generally experience milder cases of bronchiolitis compared to non-breastfed infants and those exposed to secondhand smoke. Passive smoking can compromise the lining of the airways, making them more susceptible to infections. Breastfeeding provides antibodies from the mother that can potentially offer some protection. Antibody injections, in some cases, monthly antibody injections given from birth may be considered to reduce the severity of bronchiolitis. This approach is primarily reserved for babies who are very premature or have severe chest or heart conditions. The goal is to minimize the impact of bronchiolitis if it does occur. While these preventive measures may have some benefits, it's important to note that they cannot guarantee complete prevention of bronchiolitis. The best approach is to maintain good overall hygiene practices, such as frequent hand washing, and promptly seeking medical attention if symptoms of respiratory illness develop in babies or young children. And that's it guys, I try to make bronchiolitis super simple for you. My wish is that this information will be a helpful resource for either you or someone you love. As a full-time doctor, my goal with this channel is to share my medical knowledge with all of you to help improve your overall health and well-being. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing for more helpful content just like this. I'll be publishing a new video every week, so if you have any suggestions for future topics, please leave a comment below. Until then, Take care of yourselves and stay healthy.